here, the rain continuing to pretty much hover right along the Ohio River as it's trying to slowly work its way eastward. Most of this is not severe like what we were seeing earlier, but it's going over at the same places time and time again, and that is definitely causing more concerns here with flooding and with more rain in the forecast. Flooding concerns are going to continue through tomorrow. It is very muggy outside and by tomorrow morning we're also going to see more showers and storms. Muggy conditions continue for your Monday. We will have your complete forecast coming up in a little while. And the National Weather Service has confirmed a tornado hit Richmond, Indiana last night, damaging several buildings, including the Richmond Mall. Crews are still working to determine the strength of that tornado. Two News reporter Chris Nesco has continuing coverage of the cleanup efforts and what's next for some affected. Adam, the deputy EMA director tells me one person was hurt after being hit by broken glass in a car, but despite all this damage, no other injuries have been reported. Now crews are trying to get business in the area back to normal. Hours after the tornado hit, crews got right to work clearing debris. Roofs remain covered in tarp and windows are boarded up during the wait for repairs. So River Gingry no was way. working inside the rallies on National Road East when the tornado hit. Our stone tables out front, you, it takes about five people to pick them up and move them, and they were actually picked up, and the stone on the bottom actually smashed off. Gingry's business was able to stay open, but others sustained greater damage. Just across the street, part of the roof was torn off the Richmond Mall, and windows were blown out. The deputy director for the Wayne County Emergency Management Agency says eight businesses inside the mall have been affected. To be honest, when she called me, I thought she was kidding. Rally's general manager, Tina Lopez, says soon after the tornado hit, people offered to help with cleanup. We had a couple actually stop and say, hey, do you guys need any help? And this is at 1130 at night. The deputy EMA director says six to eight businesses near the mall were also damaged or affected, as well as six residential structures. Officials say there's no timeline yet for when the interior section of the mall may reopen. And the deputy EMA director is urging people to be careful when driving through the area since crews are continuing cleanup and utility work. He says he has completed the storm survey with the National Weather Service and the strength level of the tornado will be determined in the coming days. Kristen Escal, 2 News, working for you.